In this lesson, we'll cover the basics of painting in Mudbox as we begin to add some color to our T-Rex. So now that we've got the lights added to our model, let's go ahead and start to paint some texture. So uh, when we added the material to him, we also added a paint layer. So we can see that here under Layers, Paint. You can see that it's part of the Diffuse channel, so it's going to be our color, uh, one of our color uh, paint layers. Okay, so I want to make sure that we have that selected. Uh, when you start to get a bunch of different paint channels and layers in here, it's going to become even more important that you make sure to select the correct layer so that you can paint on the right one. So we're going to be painting the color, so we've got that selected. And now to uh, actually start painting some texture on this guy, we're going to go down to our Paint Tools tray, and we're going to select the Paintbrush. And you'll notice the uh, properties for the Paintbrush are going to look a lot like the Sculpt Tool properties. And uh, we've got the size, we've got strength that can be adjusted here. We can also adjust those using the same hotkeys, B and M, for the brush size and strength. We've also got areas for the stamp, uh, stamp spacing, steady stroke, and all of those familiar properties that we have. Okay, We can select a color right up here at the top. So let's say we want to uh, choose a, a nice base color for this guy. and Feel free to choose whatever color you want. I'm going to do something a little bit different, maybe, maybe, maybe make him a little bit uh, red. Okay, so let's start with that. And this is just a kind of a starting point. So uh, here in the color chooser, I uh, just want to go over, there's a few different ways that we can pick colors. We can see we have a color wheel here that we can choose from. We have a spectrum. We've got uh, the ability to bring in an image and sample color from an existing image if you want to do that. And we also have a blend where we can select several colors and blend those together and select colors from that. We also have the ability to come in if you have a a numeric value you want to put in, you can put that in here as well. So, uh, and the eyedropper as well. So there are a lot of different options here for working with uh, colors. So I'll go ahead and say done. So we've got that color uh, selected here. I want to make sure that mirror uh, in the X is on so that I can paint, uh, kind of help me paint uh, the other side as well. And so then we'll just start painting. So we'll go ahead and just start to paint on our texture and just drop this base color in. And whatever color you choose, you know, you can come in if you want the, the uh, kind of different areas of this guy to be uh, different colors. Maybe you want to go ahead and just paint that area, maybe just paint the back part red. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and probably paint most of him red and then kind of come in and overlay that with another color just so it'll blend together a little bit better. Okay, so we just want to come in and using our paintbrush. Go in, and as we finish the stroke, we'll let it uh, think for a second. Okay, we'll go in and just paint across his head. Okay, down to the arms. Okay, and you can paint on kind of either side there, down to the legs. You can also use that uh, the flatten to UV uh, tool that we used before, where it kind of flattens it out to a uh, to whatever the UV layout happens to be. That will enable you, if you're painting the whole thing, uh, enable you to get in there and paint it a little bit, maybe a little bit quicker. But I'm just going to go in and just kind of cover this up. Now, obviously, we don't want him to be just a flat color. We want to, he's a kind of an organic creature, so we want to give him a little bit of, uh, kind of break that color up a little bit. Go ahead and just finish up painting through this. So we want, we obviously want to break this up a little bit. So let's go in and uh, actually, uh, before we do that, we'll go ahead and just uh, add a little bit more color to the to underside. So if we want to change our colors, we can just go in here and let's make this a little, kind of desaturate this a bit and make it kind of a lighter color. Okay, and we'll just paint this in on the belly here. Okay, just kind of bring this in. Again, we're just dropping in uh, these sort of base colors. And right now we're working at 100%. If you wanted something to be blended with the, the color below it, you could take that, uh, that strength down a bit. Okay. So we'll just go in and start to paint underneath here, maybe underneath the legs as well. Just dropping in that base color uh, as we go. Okay. Kind of bring it up underneath the head a little bit. Okay, maybe up to the sides. Now if we want to start to break up that red, okay, we can go ahead and let's choose our color. And let's say we want to get that red back. We can just take our eyedropper. We don't have to, uh, to display this as flat color anymore. We can go ahead and just click on that shaded view. And that'll sample that, uh, that red color that we have. 
from our uh, from our skin there. Okay, and let's go ahead and make that maybe a little bit darker, and let's move around on the color wheel a little bit, just so we get a different, a little bit different version, something that's close. Uh, so now what we can do is start to break this up a little bit. We can do that using some stamps. So let's choose one of our stamps down here, maybe something like this. And I want to randomize that, and I want to give it a little bit more spacing maybe. You can experiment with those values. And now we can start to come in here and just kind of break this up. And you want it to be fairly subtle, so you can see how that it's adding that sort of dark look to the to the skin there. Okay. Let's go ahead and maybe make that a little bit more apparent uh, by changing up the color a bit. Okay, so I'm going to make this maybe a little bit more orange, a little bit lighter. And then we can come in and you can see how it's starting to add a little bit of variation in there. We can get a lot more variation with also the uh, image adjustment brushes, which we'll talk about uh, a little bit later. Okay, so you can come in and start to kind of break up that texture a little bit. You can do the same thing down on the belly just by selecting that color and then getting a variation of that and, uh, and using the, uh, the stamps for that. Okay, now we can come in here along the uh, eyes. Okay, so let's say uh, we want to actually start to paint some color on the eye, so we can go with our paintbrush. Let's get kind of a white, maybe make it a little bit gray, a little bit of yellow in it. Okay, okay we'll go ahead and turn our uh, stamp off. Let's take our brush size way down. Okay, and we can start to add some color for that eye. Okay. And instead of making it white, let's actually add some yellow to that. So we'll go back in and make that a little bit more yellow. Okay. Add some yellow to that. Okay, if we want to go in and add the, uh, the pupil, just get kind of a black. Kind of draw that in wherever you want. Okay, so just dropping that in. So that can be part of the uh, the color. And then we just want to start to break up some of these other areas. Now, if you want to maybe get a stamp that we don't have here, maybe you want to experiment a little bit, let's actually jump over to the community and grab something that we can use to create some, I don't know, maybe spots or something. So let's jump over here and we'll see how easy this is. So we're going to go into the library, go into stamps. All right. And I'm just going to look for, let's just look for highest rated. There's a lot of search options up here that we can use. Okay, and let's use this pores stamp. So all we have to do is go ahead and hit this little button right here. Okay, and you can see that it automatically downloads that stamp and loads it up into our scene. So it's just that easy, hitting that one button, go back to our 3D view, and we've got a stamp ready to go. So with this stamp, actually, I don't want to use the necessarily the uh, paintbrush. So let's go ahead and use the airbrush instead. Okay, we'll load that stamp back in. And let's actually randomize that stamp a little bit. Let's choose kind of a dark color for that stamp. Okay. And then we can play around with our stamp spacing and spread that out a little bit. But let's kind of see what that looks like up here. Let's dial our brush size down a little bit. Okay, and I want to make sure that we get our strength up. You can see it was set way down, so I want to set that up to 100. And so you can see how that's coming through. Now that's a little bit too much, so I'm going to go ahead and take that back down. And then we can kind of use that to also break this up. Okay, give us a little bit more detail in there. Okay, so it's really easy to go in and also grab some stamps, stencils, also take a look at the gallery in there. Really uh, useful stuff, and it's great to interact with other artists as well. Okay, 
So we want to just go in and using some different stamps on this single diffuse map, we just want to break up this color a little bit just by using uh, stamps with randomize and the stamp spacing, just kind of break that up with some similar uh, values, similar colors. Um, whatever color it is you're using, you don't have to use red, but uh, kind of make your own color scheme there. So you just want to kind of break that up. And so uh, once we've got that done, the next lesson will come in and look at how we can start to use multiple paint layers. So right now we're working with a single color layer. And working with multiple layers will give us a lot more flexibility in blending some of these layers together and creating some different effects. So we'll look at how we can do that in the next lesson.